a thriller. And I really liked the tension and the buildup. Um, within my own work, I'm often mining history and looking back at different historical instances in American history and then trying to rewrite them into a more contemporary, maybe even futuristic mind frame. And I thought this film had that, that type of emotional and psychological tension that I actually want to have in my work. So to work on a project like this, to me, is almost an extension of my own practice. Within my own work, I've been doing paintings on antique quilts. And most of these quilts are from the late 1900s. So I happen to have a quilt dated from 1886 that we used in Eden's cabin. And there's another moment in the rest of the film where you see that same quilt, but it's repurposed, redesigned, and modified, hanging in Veronica's apartment. And if you're really paying attention, you can start to see that tie-in. And there's a few other elements in the film that work that way. So it's also, so there's this visual, almost retinal, subliminal information that's coming at you through every part of the film. And there's moments when you focus on it and don't focus on it, but it adds to that tension. Um, so we really wanted the film to have that type of layered complexity. I remember the first day being at the plantation um, and seeing everybody in costume. And at one point, all the Confederate soldiers were sort of on one side um, backstage and all the enslaved people were on another side. And it was eerie and it felt very strange. And over the course of the next few days, I started to see those groups mixing and hanging out because why wouldn't they? You know, they're all sim you know, similar age group, all living in the same city. These people would be hanging out otherwise. And when they started to mingle and you're seeing somebody dressed as an enslaved person and dressed as a Confederate um, soldier having a conversation and laughing and sharing a coffee, it became even more surreal. But once again, I think that's the tie into, we never really escape our history. It's just what we do with our history. How do we take that into our future?